Hello everyone and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We continue on No Man's Land. Uh, it's still August. We still have a lot of work to do. We need to uh, mulch this field. So let's put a worker on here for now. There we go. And do that job. And then we are going to start seeding here with our canola. So let's uh, make a headland. And also, not to forget, of course, put the crop sensor on. Let's go back a little bit, unfold this. Uh, that's not the one I wanted. Is it already on? Uh, turn on crop sensor. Let's do that. There we go. Crop sensor has been turned on. That should. Uh, that's not uh, the one. That's the one. Let's see, yeah, this is fine, so. And that should do it. Yeah, increase nitrogen level to optimal value for canola. The optimal level we see. So there's still a lot of, uh, you can see there's 20 kilograms of nitrogen already in the ground. Most of it, that's uh, because of the uh, all sheet radish, so we are need 20 kilograms less in the future we can also put some manure on that liquid or normal manure once we have the cows and now it's for loam so okay we probably do need a decent amount of fertilizer if i uh, look at it so hopefully uh, uh, let's turn around here like this uh, I need to keep an eye out for those mulches because it didn't do a very good job last time uh, if I remember correctly. Can I see it somehow from here? Apparently not really. Might need a double headland. Oh, that's what I should have done here, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, didn't need to do this, but uh, we get there. That's fine. I don't see it exactly from here. Can't really tell. Yeah, but basically what we need is to... Uh, two headlands on the north and the south of the field and then that's it we don't need anything else so i have to take a look uh, over there where it is once we are once we're here cleared the trees here out of the way that uh, was staying uh, still laying there so that's uh, that's done too bad that you can't see that the uh, the crop sensor is on somehow uh, yeah let's have a quick look oh this is still seems to work now okay that's good we could also uh, put combine to work I think we already have a double headland here don't we yeah yeah that seems to be the case and then it's not a problem because it doesn't have to go back it can go forward and turn around i think or not yeah you go now forward then turn to yeah look at that the double headland seems to be uh, better otherwise it's trying to go backwards that's not really the best thing so let's uh, pick you up also uh, I think we can do with a worker right away on this one. That shouldn't be too much of a problem if we get in this direction. Then we can get the sorghum also harvested. Let's see if this is the right width. Yeah, you even could go a little bit. I think this will do. Let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, turn on the worker. There we go. Uh, we need, well, basically, yeah, we need you, but 
the field is right over there so we don't have to go too far let's uh, park that a little bit closer there we are stop right here good and this one is doing fine yeah this one needs to be continued uh, you have lifted up yep have. let's see if we can turn around like this Well, we don't really need a headland over here to basically, but I think it's best practice to do so. Might skip a little spot there, but let's see. Oh, we started up there. Yeah, that's not the most practical way to do it, to be honest. Well, okay, we get there. The crop sensor still on. Yeah, okay, that keeps it on. That's good. And stop here. Now we're going in this direction. And then probably coming back again. That might be the best uh, course of action. Let's see. A little bit more like this. That's fine. Yeah, this is doing nicely. Okay, and then we're coming back, and then we're gonna start uh, the worker over there. Now we can probably use the combine for ourselves. It did turn around at least. That's good. So no problems over there. And after this is done, then we should uh, put some sheet radish in 28 and also in 27 but 27 needs to be mulched first before we can do that there's a lot of seeding going on today yeah and uh, the canola needs a lot of uh, fertilizer that roughly up to 200 kilograms per hectare I think but not everywhere depends on the soil type but still it's a lot so yeah I should have started it probably from the other side I did start around here but not the best choice, I think. Okay, well, this will do. I'm pretty sure that if we do another lap on this side here, just on the right, then we're done with the trees over there. That should everything should be fine and the worker can take it over. Otherwise, it might mess around a little bit. Now, what we now well, we could do a different way. Yeah, let's. Uh, I'm gonna put in an add extra headland down the south and an extra headland down to the north, and then everything should be fine. Then the work can take over. That's all we need to do. And then we can start uh, over there and let it come down southwards and then let's go back northwards it will miss the trees over there yeah that's uh, probably a better solution let's do that let's see if you can handle all of this yep no not okay so let's uh, turn it a little bit so this is basically the best way to start over here then you don't have that building in the way uh, okay, it did a mistake on my side, it seems. I already
did lift it up or it did lift it up by itself now we're gonna put it down and try that again there we go uh has nearly okay we have almost full on the brain tank so let's have a quick look at that yep let's go and the sorghum of so of course can also go into the grain mill okay well the mulching is still going on that's good so let's empty this okay that's uh, almost 18,000 liters on few passes not that much so yeah we get a nice uh, amount of sorghum out of this I think This in total should be over 80,000 liters. I think it left a little bit down there. Couldn't pick it up. Uh, we do that manually when it started to turn around. Okay, you are basically empty now. Uh, let's stop here. Let's uh, keep going a when it's at the end we pick up that uh, little piece over there the worker didn't understand it exactly what it needed to do it seems mm, not the smartest uh, guy I guess and stop the worker let's try that Okay, missed the first spot there. Let's turn you around completely and pick it up again. Over there. A little bit, not much. Three liters, but it is what it is. And now we can simply turn it back on the worker again. Let's see. Maybe something like this. A little bit more direction. I think this will do. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, let's send it on its way and we'll turn the worker on again. There we go. Okay, we were still seeding here. bit further something like this let's see if we can set it yeah that's fine now oh, that's a little bit too far back let's try this let's see if that uh, turn it on and lower it yep uh, that's working perfectly okay I'm not too sure about there. It seems that's a little bit smaller. Hopefully it will pick it up. But uh, No, it's not optical illusion. It is uh, a little bit smaller down there. So let's see how this turns out. Would be fine, but we could also have a little gap down here. Now this is still going good, but I think the last piece here will be missed. Yep, okay, well, we're gonna fix that by doing it like this. Bring you a little bit further in here. There we go. Done. So let's quickly go to the other side of the field. I'm not gonna do a headland anymore on this side, it's not needed. And basically when the mulcher is uh, finished we could also mulch uh, fuel 27 uh, could start with that so i'd like to have an extra headland uh, on this side also 
just too wide. That seems to be uh, doing pretty well. A little bit more like this. That should do it. And then we can put it on the uh, north-south uh, to harvest or to uh, to see the rest of the field. Still need to drop the uh, sorghum into the the grain mill. Not forget it. How is our 59 that's not very good this is 99 even okay that's uh, perfect i'm not sure if you can get it up to 100 i don't think i've ever seen 100 uh, to be honest but 89 and 99 that's really good but uh, values that i have never uh, in encountered before in my games uh, this should be okay let's drop it a little bit like that Uh, maybe uh, lower it, that might help. Top sensor is still on, so let's uh, hire a worker. There we go. I don't see the crop sensor now, but that's probably because uh, the worker handles it. But this should be fine, okay. There we go, you are still, you are at 70%, very well. Well, we could uh, empty it and then bring it to the shop, I guess, to the uh, shop, I guess. Oh, you're still, yeah, you're still going strong, that's good. There are so many things to do at the moment. I can already turn the sorghum on here sorghum flower let's uh, activate it there we go yeah we get from 15 we get 16 and the barley yeah that's a little bit less okay there we go nearly full 80 percent so probably gonna get end up with another uh, about 18,000 so we probably around 36, 37,000 maybe. Okay, 35, almost 36,000, yeah. You can see at the speed at what uh, the trailer is being filled if the combine is empty. If it's going pretty quickly, it's still uh, dumping the amount it has. But at some point it only has uh, what it's harvesting and that's going a, bit, a little bit slower. Or significantly slower, I have to say. So there we go, pop the sorghum in here, let's have a quick look at our cedar, yeah it's going strong, excellent, I have to keep an eye out for the amount of fertilizer it has of course, we don't want to have it being completely empty, that's not good. We might have enough, but it uses a, a decent amount, so not 100% sure about it. I think we park you here for now, so that we can get our, our mulcher going. It seems that it's doing nothing anymore. Completed the work. Uh, yeah, you did, didn't you? That's good. Very well. So this can be seeded with all the seed radish now.
Now we didn't have uh, done a headland with that one, but that's okay. The fields are empty, so not really needed. Let's see. A little bit more like this. Yep. And let's do it ourselves. For now. Especially around the pond. It seems that uh, the game has a little bit of difficulty uh, picking that up correctly. Let's be careful not to get too far into the water. It's not that deep, so it doesn't really matter too much, but too far is never good. Let's uh, make some kind of a headland uh, around this piece here. Might be a little bit better. Look at that, that's, uh, that's better. Now we can pick up the, uh, the normal lines again here. I think we're around here. Yep, let's drop you. Put you on cruise control. There we go. Okay, I do one more shift here and then I'm going to... Probably, yeah, put it back on the worker. And let's have a check how our all sheet radish is doing over there. If it still has enough fertilizer. Uh, no, the canola, it's not all sheet radish. All sheet radish is for this here. That doesn't need fertilizer. So. So let's do something like this. Put the worker on. Yep, you're dropping it. Good. Very well. And you're at 43%. So that's not really a problem yet. So, oh, you ate. Oh, you do make a, a turnaround here. You're going a little bit backwards and then make a turnaround. Okay. Interesting. Hmm, but you probably need to go also a little bit backwards because you ain't gonna yeah this has doesn't really have a, a small turning angle a little bit wider but it picks it up nicely so nothing to worry about yet at least but i don't think it can do the whole field with the amount of fertilizer it has so we have to keep an eye out for this and you are done over here well you know what we're going to pick you up again and do it ourselves. Let's see. Yeah, that should be fine. I think. Uh, nearly full grain tank. Let's uh, address that problem first then. Yeah, this is, uh, of course, the nice thing of having a lot of uh, work done at once. You can shift a little bit without uh, the need of making a lot of cuts. So you don't have to watch all of it at, uh, for hours on end. I guess you stop here to unload completely. Yes, you do. That's good. Okay, there we go. It's another 18,000 liters. There we are. We can continue. Let's turn this off with you. 
There we go. Now this should be quicker than the combine to be honest. I mean we are going 80% faster. 18 kilometers an hour instead of 10 and yeah we are a little bit smaller but not that much. We are, we are not 80% smaller so we should uh, catch up with uh, with it. We'll see. That's just a little bit too late. Missed out on a little piece. There we go. Are you still on the... Yes, you were. For a moment I thought it wasn't uh, activated anymore, the GPS, but it still was. And we can keep uh, an eye out on the cedar over there. That's not really a problem. Turning around, so to see. Yep, very nice. And then, so next month we have to uh, do at least two fields one with barley and one with. Uh, one with wheat. If I'm not mistaken, let's have a quick look. Uh, this one, yeah, barley and wheat. And if we want some other uh, stuff, then March. Bullshit reddish can be done up till October. That's something to keep in mind if we want to have some uh, something done before spring might want to buy another field then and get also maybe some oat in so that the, uh, the grain mill is working uh, cool wouldn't be a bad idea i think but then we have to have a look at what would be a wise thing to do Which field would be the most interesting to have? Uh, 29 has a lot of trees. Mm, this is some trees. M yeah, maybe 30. Yeah, that's also a lot of trees. 18 has some. Looks like 15 seems to be pretty decent here. Would be interesting to have but there's a lot of clay around here so i'm not too sure 37 but also a lot of trees yeah not uh, quite sure yet what we're going to do uh, about it but we'll see how it will turn on turns out And also in the future we might want to get something else on field 20 uh, what is it 26 because it's pretty short field it's not uh, a, we, we cut off a piece for the for the farm and the and all the production facilities so at some point we might get some root crop in there or something not 100 percent sure yet Changes will be uh, done in the future, that's for sure. Really like to see, to have uh, canola and wheat and sorghum and all that kind of stuff uh, done on full fields. After this, we're going to have a look uh, at the cedar again, how far the fertilizer is. Uh, nearly full grain tank, so we ain't going to do that. We're going to stop here. We're going to 
Oh, you are at 20%. Yeah, let's keep an eye out for that. Because that's starting to get a little bit on the low side. Let's pick up some more sorghum. And bring that to the, the mill again. That would be another 36,000 liters. Already 72,000. That's a uh, yeah, nice amount. But then again, the, the barley field with 105,000 wasn't a complete uh, field. This is uh, bigger. You should stop here and empty yourself completely. A little bit forward. See, yep, there we go. And then we might pick up the, the cedar and give it a refill for the, uh, well basically for everything, why not? I mean, it doesn't matter too much. There we are, 36,400. So bring you in to the grain mill. We should be able to get through here without a problem. You're not that big. Small tipper. The grain mill is still on uh, distributing. Not sure how much the bakery has. I think it should get more now. At some point it will be full of course. And then we uh, probably going to use it to sell or maybe store for... Uh, short while let's have a look yeah look at that we already have a lot of sorghum also uh the bakery Nineteen thousand. yeah there's still i think it can have up to around sixty thousand. if i look at this 20 another 20 and another 20 something like that so for now we keep it on uh, distributing until the bakery is full And let's pick up the uh, the cedar now. Well, let's at least finish the uh, the row it's uh, working on for now. But at some point we want to let's see where it is. There we go off. Well, basically, when you're at the end there, we're gonna pick everything up because it's down to 11% now. So we're getting a little bit low. And I'm not sure if the game gives a warning when you run out of fertilizer. Could be, but I'm not going to take my chance. And there we are, you're lifting it up, good. Then you can stop and fold it. We are going to refill and then put it back on there again. Well, we can start at that point over there. That's a little bit closer by. Uh, we could also do with a refill on the fuel. So let's do that. First. Maybe also uh, do a little bit of repair. Why not? I mean, we're basically halfway down. And since we're here, better make the best out of it. Except for uh, the washing, of course. That's a little bit silly to do. Get a little bit more seeds in. There we go. Yeah, it needs a lot of fertilizer, not really much on the seeds, uh, to be honest. It was only 752. And I think we're about 75% uh, done on that field, so yeah. 3,900 for fertilizer. Is this close enough for you? 
to get uh, your repairs done. Let's have a look. Uh, yes, it is. A repair this one for 972. Wow. We can do the paint here. That's good. And we can't make the mistake uh, clicking the wrong one. Look at that. Almost 7000 for repairing our equipment. That's uh, a pricey business. That's for sure. But then again, we make tons of money. So we can afford it. Oops. That's almost uh, a greenhouse. And our well, we don't have really a, a very tight turn with that uh, with that big seated behind us. Let's try it like this. Already full again. Jeez, man, there's so much things to do. Uh, let's uh, put this one back to work quickly. Yeah, look at that. There's not much uh, left here. That should be fine. Let's have a look. Uh, is this the correct width? No, it is not. This should do it. Let's unfold it. I always uh, like to give it a little bit of a start myself and then turn the worker on to make sure that's at the right angle. So let's see, is the crop sensor still on? No. Alt Shift B. Now it's on. Good. Uh, not you. This one. Uh, drop it down. Turn it on. And let's go. Now it's on the GPS. And now we turn on the worker. There we are. Uh, you are completely full. Okay. Let's pick this one up then. We're 37 minutes in. Yeah, that's probably the last thing we are going to do. And the rest... Uh, it's going to be done off camera. Or at least I can let this finish and make a little cut in here. That's maybe even better. Let's see how much uh, we exactly get from harvesting uh, this field. That might be a good thing. So I'm gonna make a little cut in here and be back with you when we have finished and can see how much sorghum we have. See you in a moment. Okay, we are on the last uh, little piece of uh, sorghum that needs to be uh, harvested. There is 36,000 liters in the truck and I think that the uh, canola seeding is also finished or almost finished. Shouldn't take that long anymore. I think it's already finished to be honest. So that one can go over to that field. But I think I'm gonna do the all sheet radish off camera for that field. We still need to roll uh, that field, but well, theoretically we don't because we have the no rolling mod. But crops that needs rolling are still going to roll. So let's see. We have another well close to 40,000 liters in. Uh, In the trailer, I guess. That's the sorghum. Okay. Let's uh, turn you off. Don't need that anymore. Only needs to... Do this. There we go. So the combine has done its work for this month. I hear that uh, the truck is still running. The engine. Okay, well let's bring this... Uh, down here I think we might need to wash it yeah that's probably a good idea but that's not for this episode I'm gonna simply park it uh, well basically over here why not doesn't sit in the way there we go that's yeah almost uh, 40,000 liters So that should give a nice amount of flour, that's for sure. Maybe we're getting a little bit more than we put in. I already see that the cedar is also finished. Very good. Let's 
let's see how much we have in here now. Because it's basically almost... Uh, yeah, look at that. 111,000. A little bit has gone into the flour, of course. But could could be close to 112,000 liters uh, that we got out of there. So that's a nice amount. Very good. Okay, people, I'm going to leave it at this. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And hopefully until the next episode. Bye for now.